Hey everyone, sneaking in a quick video in my much less decorated office now that we are moving out, but wanted to make this guide on ammunition because it was requested by a couple of people in the comments of my videos. So today we're going to go over all the ammunition, your options, and the best way to make it. So the very basic regular ammunition is just made by adding arrowheads to arrows if you want to make it elemental you'll need to buy spell components from an archmage. So I'm just going to show you how to do one of those, and then you can look up the other recipes. But to make any of the elemental oils, we're going to start with acid. I'll just show you that one. So it's brimstone for acid, which makes sense. You're going to use an alembic on the spell component, and then you're going to use a aqua incanta on the infusion that is created. Or the other way around, sorry. Which will give you acid oil. You'll notice that I'm doing concentrated versions. So this is to get more arrows. And then these get used on wrapped bundles of arrowheads. If you just use the regular spell component, you need regular aqua incanta and regular arrowheads. And you'll get one bundle of 250. Whereas we are going to get um, quite a few more arrows than that. So these get used on wrapped bundles of arrow shafts. All of these can be purchased from a Fletcher. Now the upgrade to regular arrowheads is greater arrowheads. Greater arrowheads do not have a skill requirement, so you can use them right away, which is super nice. To make greater arrowheads, what you're going to do is you're going to do the same process. We're going to use Quicksilver this time. until we get concentrated blood seeker oil. We'll use the blood seeker oil on the wrapped arrowheads. Then we're gonna make another acid oil, same process. I think I'm out of pack space. <laughs> same process, and then the acid oil gets used on the greater arrowheads. If you just want the greater like piercing arrows, you would be done and you wouldn't do that, but this is what we would do here. The next tier is Deadly Arrowheads. Deadly Arrowheads do have a skill requirement, so you need to have base with missile weapons 230 to use those. For those, we're going to use Stib Knight. And we'll get a Concentrated Blood Hunter Oil. Then we're going to do, again, the same process. I'm going to have to drop more of my money on the ground. Or maybe these Acid Arrow, but I want to keep So we're going to make a blood seeker oil and then we'll also make another acid oil. Drop some more pyrules on the ground and then the order is blood seeker to make the greater then the blood hunter to make it deadly and then the elemental oil at the end. So now you'll have wrapped bundle of deadly acid arrowheads. Beyond deadly, you get into greater deadly territory. There's a couple of ways to get the different elements. You can't craft them at this point. Uh, you can't craft the arrowheads, I should say, at this point. You do still craft the arrows. The first way to get some of them is to go to the Master Fletchers. So if you go to a Fletcher in any town, they'll sell a gem invitation to Master Fletchers or you can just run to Glendon Wood and there's a cave and you just go in. It's not like a secret place that's hard to get to. So let's use that. Oh, it opened the portal right on top of me. So this is the cave. We'll head inside. Cavern. I feel like they should have called that portal Master Fletcher's. But anyway, Lorana is the Master Fletcher. So Lorana sells all kinds of uh, fletching goodies. But some of the things that Lorana sells are the non-elemental greater deadly arrowheads, wrapped bundles of them. So this is one way to get those. Now, you can also buy them using alt currency. So for bludgeon, you can buy them at the Colosseum. For slash, you can buy them at the Gear Knight Invasion area. For acid, you have to buy them at all the way north. So I have some of these in my inventory. You get all the way acid arrowheads. For lightning, you buy them at 
uh, either Northwatch Castle or Freebooter, uh, the keeps that you get from capturing the keep with your society. For cold, you buy them in the graveyard. And for fire, you buy them in Neftet. So while it is a little bit annoying to have to spend alternate currency, you get a ton of arrows. And the additional bonus is that they are lighter than their counterparts uh, that you would buy from Lorana. So you can see I just made the gear slashing arrows. So they only deal 28 to 40, which is typical greater deadly, but they weigh one burden per arrow. Whereas the ones that we just purchased uh, from Lorana, they, the frog crotch deal more, which is really nice, but they weigh a lot more. So they weigh twice as much. Uh, they actually weigh five times as much. So it's five burden per arrow instead of one burden per arrow. And you only get a thousand per stack. So you kind of have to literally weigh that on your character. Like, can you afford the extra burden? Because sometimes being an archer carrying all the arrows, it is a little bit, it gets heavy. So you have to just think about what you have space for. So the other option for arrows, if you are really not interested in doing all of this crafting, is you can just... Uh, come here and you can buy deadly prismatic arrowheads or whichever uh, tier you are on for your character. You can buy regular prismatic, greater prismatic, deadly prismatic arrowheads. So let's buy one of these and we'll make it for, for us. So the way that prismatic arrows work is you have to have fletching uh, specialized. So wield requires specialized fletching. You have to have a certain skill, so 375 fletching. You have to have base missile weapons 300, which is super easy to get to, not a big deal. And the way that these work is they take on the element of the bow. So the bow has to have a damage bonus to a certain element in order for these to work. So this is a good example, the true strike bow. It doesn't have an elemental damage bonus, but it's slash rending. So you'd be like, oh, this is great for prismatic arrows. It's going to do slash damage and it'll be great. But because it doesn't have that elemental damage bonus, it's still the prismatic arrows are going to do piercing and your slash rend is not going to work. So you just have to be careful if you're using prismatic arrowheads to make sure your bow has an elemental damage bonus. And if it doesn't, it's just going to do piercing damage. I think prismatics are great for like leveling a new character so that you don't have to bother uh, picking up a whole bunch of different arrows while you're gearing up and, and finding new stuff. Um, but later on, you definitely want to switch away from them on your main character because uh, having to have spec fletching just really restricts the template that you can build because of the specialized skill credit cap. Uh, and just having to spend those skill credits, you'd rather spend them on like melee defense or life magic or something that you're really useful. Uh, with that said, don't feel bad if you do want to use prismatics. They're definitely viable and it saves you a ton of time in crafting. That's my quick rundown on ammunition in Asheron's Call. Sometimes playing an archer is a little bit annoying having to deal with this, but it's honestly not that bad. And once you get the hang of uh, what to get and what you should be doing, it's, it's pretty easy. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm glad I could sneak in a quick guide here before we move. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch my other video that I put out last week. But that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching.